<laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Kim, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh, man. Has anybody seen Joe Biden? I mean, it's going on a week now, and nobody has seen Joe Biden. No press conference, no ice cream runs, nothing. What is going on? Uh, Mr. Trump, have you seen Joe Biden? So tonight, we'll refer to him as Sleepy Joe, because right now... As you know, it's been reported that right now Crooked Joe has gone to a log cabin to study, prepare. No, he didn't do He's sleeping now. Because they want to get him good and strong so a little before debate time he gets a shot in the ass. And that's... Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. He's probably studying. <laughs> Unbelievable. Meanwhile... While Biden is dicking around and doing nothing, Mr. Trump is still campaigning. Matter of fact, he's in Philadelphia the other day looking for Joe Biden. He's in Joe Biden's backyard, and he's campaigning. And look at the crowd in Philadelphia. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Look at this here. Now, if you remember, Mr. Biden was here a few weeks ago, and he was trying to hold a rally. And it was at a high school auditorium. And look at this crowd here. Womp, womp, womp. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. Trump is crisscrossing. He's going around all the blue cities. He was at the Bronx, one of the bluest city in America. And look at the crowd here. Now, AOC and Jamal Bowman, they try to do their own rally. And let's take a look at their rally. We are here for our brother, Jamal Bowman. Cease fire now, y'all. That's what we're doing. Cease fire now. We're going to show them. Who the f we are? We're gonna show them who the f we are! Cease fire now! Cease fire now! Cease fire now! Are you ready to win this country back? Are you ready to win this country back? And are you ready to fight for Oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell are they talking about? Seize fire and we're going to take the country back. AOC, you are running the country right now. The House, the Senate, and the presidency. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you going to take it back from? Who are you going to give it to? Hamas? What your cease fire ass? Ugh, bunch of idiots. Anyway, Trump even went down to Jersey. Look at the crowd here. And he went to San Francisco, another blue city. And look at the enthusiasm here in San Francisco. Wow. I mean, they got people in the boats. They're, they're honking horns. All this, right? Speaking of San Francisco, they have a mayor race going on right now. And let's take a look at the debates. Um, you were at the Harvey Milk. Uh, LGBT Democratic Club and couldn't name any um, LGBT advisors to your campaign. You were at the debate last week and couldn't name 
uh, any drag queens on your own. Uh, and if you could name three LGBTQ advisors for your campaign and three drag queens uh, in San Francisco. <laughs> While people are talking about gas prices, food prices, inflation, these mayor candidates are talking about name five drag queens. What the fuck? Unbelievable. San Francisco, guys. Anyway, the Trump train still moves on. Wow. So we're still looking for Biden, and hopefully he shows up this Thursday for the big debate, okay? And we're going to see what people like Brian Tyler Cohen going to say the day after. I can't wait to hear what he got to say. <laughs> Before we sign off, I got to say this, all right? There's a clip on Twitter right now, on X, that is melting down the internet. We have former Governor Cuomo here. He's on Bill Maher's show, and he says this. The trial in New York, the one he got convicted for, was the greatest fundraising bonanza yes. ever. He is now, he was lagging behind Biden, and now he's pulled quite a bit ahead. That trial was the greatest reason people yes. had to, to send their checks for five, 10, 25, whatever dollars to Donald Trump. Yeah. So I, I, and I was always with you on, on the one in New York, the hush money trial. I don't think they should have brought that one. It was just always gonna look like a sex case and people were always just gonna look at it that way. So anyway. That case, the attorney general's case in New York, frankly, should have never been brought. And if his name was not Donald Trump and if he wasn't running for president, I'm the former AG in New York. I'm telling you, that case would have never been right. brought. And that's what is offensive to people. And it should be. Because if there's anything left, it's yeah. belief in the justice system. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We've been saying this from the beginning. And we have a, a major Democrat. He, too, sees it also. Brian Tyler Cohen, what do you got to say about that? I absolutely understand and appreciate that people are vehemently unhappy. Mm. I mean, Andrew Cuomo, he's not a big fan of Trump. He's a former AG, and he knows the laws over there. He wouldn't bring it up himself. But we all see it's political, right? Can we all agree on that? I'm not sure I've ever heard anything quite like this. Man, oh, man. Anyway, we'll see what's going to happen. Can't wait. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you Democrats, get off my lawn.